If there's one thing I've learned over the last two weeks, it's that Syria is the country of gifts. Syrians in general are very generous actually. Like here, you will never ever seek for food. Like if you are hungry, you can just knock on random people's doors. They will give you food even if you are a foreigner, you are poor, you are rich, it doesn't even matter. As I've traveled around Syria, from Damascus to Aleppo, Homs, Latakia, Tartus, Sadad, Malula, and many villages in between, the thing that stood out the most to me was the generosity of the people. Welcome, you are welcome. Thank you so much. Mm. Uh, he's telling me to show him that church and show him that one. I'm saying everything. <laughs> okay. welcome. I, have um, I unexpectedly received 16 things for free without asking for any of them. Until now, I always said that Pakistanis were the number one gift givers, but now the torch might be passed over to the Syrians. Yeah, Habibi, what's your name? Drew. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Uh, but thanks for coming. Yes. The more you take pictures, the more we love you. <laughs> so now I'm going to tell you 16 short stories of gifts I've received, starting with day one in Damascus. When I bought pomegranate juice from a street vendor, the owner gave me some fava beans to eat for free. Extremely good! When I made the story on Antonio and Abraham in their mosaic shop, they gave me free tea before I left. Well guys, shy up. Okay, so we've been invited for a cup of tea now. I walked into a random souvenir shop to interview the owner. I told him that I collect drink coasters and he insisted that I take a set for free. No, 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 no. Don't have to give a gift. Yeah. Why? It's gift. Said that like uh, it's Syrian to give gifts to strangers. <laughs> that was a real situation that just happened. Just so 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 kind, like deeply in their heart kind. When I was walking a random street in Damascus, someone put out free candy for anyone to grab. It's like Halloween, you can just come and take whatever you want and it's amazing. When I walked into a candy shop, the owner gave me free Barazek cookies to try. Mmm. It's like a really thin wafer cookie with peanuts on top and caramel. Mm. In downtown Damascus, I walked to an outdoor candy vendor and he gave me free dried figs. When I checked out of my hotel, they surprisingly gave me a free bottle of wine and juice. When I was in Aleppo, I saw these kids pushing carts of oranges and they threw me some in the middle of the street. Awesome. No, 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 that's enough, that's enough. It's okay, thank you. <laughs> Keep throwing oranges. Thank you. Do you want me to pay? No. Thank you. Also in Aleppo, when I visited a family, they gave me a free chocolate bar. In the town of Sukalabia, I spent time with another family and they gave me free mate, tea, and snacks. Oreos and biscuits. I really love that lady. She said, uh, welcome to you. I am uh, really happy to, to see you and I can cry for what you are doing too. Can, can cry? <laughs> That's so sweet. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, she's crying. <laughs> Many people in my country are scared of Syria, but I'm trying to show them that it's really a beautiful country. She says, uh, inshallah, يعني, we, we hope that the war will end in Syria and everything will be good. And they said, all the people, they will come to Syria and we will welcome them and we will welcome them. In my house, they will sleep inside the house, and I, me, I will sleep on the door. In the village of Sadad, I went to a random lady's house, and she gave us Arabic coffee and treats. In the beautiful town of Malula, I was given free chai, which was extra nice because it's really cold there. Tea time. Thank you, my friend. You are welcome. Back in Damascus, I went to a meat shop to get ingredients to make kibbe, and the owner's kid made me free coffee. Then I walked into a candy shop and I was given free harashit sweets. When I took a taxi ride across Damascus, the driver offered me a sip of his fresh hot chai. That was a first for me, and why not? Shukran. That's amazing. And lastly, I visited a small souvenir shop in the old city with my friend Gaida. Hi. How are you? The owner invited us in the back for tea and I told him that I collect banknotes and I like this one. And he wouldn't let me leave without getting some for free. How amazing is that? 
شعبي بي حطوا بالهم انه لما لما راح يجي مشان يشتري. I said like you're you're his guest so you won't pay for that. Wow, thank you so much. You're so nice. Watch this, we're gonna leave the shop and I'm gonna try to pay him and see if he'll accept my money and I'm almost sure that he won't. This is for you. For the tea and everything. You can take it if you want. No? We'll leave tobacco let lemon. What did he say? What did he say? He's kidding. Thank you. See you next time. Guys, for the record, I never asked or requested for any of these gifts. It's pretty much customary to offer visitors something for free. And this can tell you something about Syrian people as a whole. They are so hospitable that they will offer you everything they have even if they don't have much, whether you're a fellow Syrian or a foreigner. It's truly remarkable and I am so touched. I'm really sad to leave Syria tomorrow. It has been a life-changing trip and this country will always have a special place right here in my heart. Now it is onwards to Lebanon and then Tunisia and then Libya and then Central Africa. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you later. Guys, talk about best travel moments of my life. This is probably one of them. I am the highest person right now overlooking Damascus. I'm kind of freaking out. <laughs> oh my god. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.